Well, the robotics team over at Hyde Park Middle School is getting national and international recognition. Next month, they'll get the chance to travel to Iowa and Kentucky to compete both in the national and world's robotics competitions. But they can't get there without the community support. Joining me now to talk about fundraising and robots is the Omnidroids. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm excited to have you here, only in middle school, but doing big things. Um, Manav, you g are currently on the team. Do you want to tell me how excited it, how exciting this is for you guys? Yeah, it's, it's a really great experience. It's not really just a competition. It's more of an experience. You get to uh, compete with 400 teams from all around the world. You get to work side by side in an alliance with them. You get to uh, mm -hmm. even you have to climb up the leaderboards as well. Yeah, and you guys are holding trophies. Look at how many trophies these guys have won already. You guys have been together, what, two years now? Two years, two yes. Years now. Really exciting. Siddharth, so but you can't get there without the community's support. What does it take to get to national and worlds for you guys? Let's well, we've already gone through uh, local and state tournaments, mm -hmm. and we have won awards that have secured us a spot in worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes engineering, teamwork, and uh, programming to perfect and design a bot. Mm -hmm. And our robot, we have destroyed and completely rebuilt it multiple times already. Wow. And on top of that, we have to uh, get $15,000 to for our trips. That's we the big thing. We can't really get any funding from the school either. Yeah, you can't get funding from the school, so you guys have to pretty much raise this money on your own. And this is a big thing for you guys. It's a big thing for the city, really. Uh, who wants to talk about the robot, the project you guys are actually doing? Nav, you want to take that one? Yeah, sure. So um, this robot, um, it's going to utilize every function of the field to score as many points as we can. It's a versatile, it's efficient. And um, another second half of our team is also this uh, STEM research project. And it's essentially our answer to oil spills. Uh, we're going wow. to be cleaning them efficiently. We're going to use USV or unmanned surface v uh, vehicle technology as, mm -hmm. long as well as hydrophobic absorption technology to basically accomplish this goal. How did you even get started with this? Um, so assen uh, essentially we discovered this thing called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, mm -hmm. but uh, we wanted to create a business that would be sustainable and well once yeah. that par patch is cleaned up you can't really go further than that. Mm -hmm. Once that's over so is the business. So in oil spills a lot of uh, almost every oil company, especially wow. ones in transporting oil, they're at risk of an oil, oil spill. Yeah, do you want to show us how uh, this thing works? Does it have a name? Uh, we call it a uh, Big Bot. Big Bot, yeah. okay. <laughs> what does a Big Bot do? <coughs> well, um, it's a simple control. Forward, backward, turning. You can also do striping from side to side. You can also lift the arm to uh, four rings on the designated pole. Really cool. That is so exciting. You guys, obviously, you said you tore this, <laughs> built it back. Mr. Yeah. Patrick's, uh, you yeah. have been helping these guys put this all together. What yes. does it mean to see them just finish it and get to Worlds and Nationals? Uh, it means everything to me. I've been doing robotics now for a lot of years. Actually, I've been teaching for 37 years, wow. 20 of them at Hyde Park Middle School. And the one thing that I try to instill in them is the, what's called the corporation model uh, mm -hmm. in our classroom. They are the Omnidroids, they are actual corporation. All the different teams, I'm like the uh, chief executive officer, mm -hmm. Chancellor Duncan is the COO. Each one of them acts as a board member really and runs cool. their corporation. And this is what makes the difference. Instead of just sitting there and holding their hand, mm -hmm. allowing them the freedom to actually be a real corporation yeah. and actually to do. You guys have such a bright future ahead of you guys, but they first need to get to national and world. So if you want to help them out, you can actually either donate at Hyde Park Middle School. You do have to say it is for the robotics team. Hyde Park Middle School is at Valley View and Charleston near that area, or also they have a GoFundMe account. It's the Omnidroids LV. We'll put all this information on our website, ktmv.com. Thank you so much for coming by, you guys, and congratulations and good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Leslie.